One of the silent partners in all of my success is Google. No, I didn't get any funding from them, but the platform has been instrumental in helping me and every successful inventor I know to research, develop, patent, and even license their inventions. And today I'll show you how you can save so much time and money researching the competitive landscape and finding parts and materials to invent fast and efficiently. Hi, I'm Lisa Lloyd, and I help people with lots of great ideas who feel stuck and confused about what to do next to feel confident and competent to build your own invention licensing business. If you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can be the first to know when I post a new video each and every week. I lean on the Google gods for just about every step in my invention stage gate process. You can learn more about that process here or in the description below. And over the years, they've added more and more ways to hack research to find just about anything you could ever be looking for. The first critical step in having an idea is to scour the market for similar items. After all, if it already exists there or there is something close enough out there, there's no need to invent it. I can just go buy the one that they've created and move on to my next good idea. On the other hand, there may be somewhat similar items that you find but are missing one or more of the ingredients that would dramatically improve the user's experience. Can you see how thoroughly understanding what's out there will help you invent better solutions? The same research also informs me on what patent attorneys call prior art, and that's helpful for drafting and possibly citing in your patent application. So there's three obvious reasons to thoroughly do your research. Now, I'm sure you know how to Google something. You may have even used Google Images before, but let me show you how just a few extra clicks will help you go deeper into the web and get better qualified and faster results. Let's say you have an idea for a new ergonomic handle for utensils to help you with better gripping. You may choose to do a basic Google search or dive deeper using images and shopping searches. So you Google using as many variations of search terms as you can come up with, but you're just not finding the item online. Here's how you can expand your search in Google Images. Now I'm going to start by taking a little picture of this, and then I'm going to jump on Google to show you what to do next. Okay, so to begin with, add your search term, which of course comes up with your normal results. But then we're gonna click over here on images, right up here, and now all of a sudden, an image is worth a thousand words. But let's narrow the search and look more specifically for what you've taken a picture of. So to do that, you'll come back up here to the URL and you'll click on this camera. From here, you can click and drag your image, hit enter and voila. Now you have the image that you uploaded and similar images that Google has found. Now, this obviously doesn't look anything like this. So what happened was when it saw the image, it put the word solid in here. So I'm just going to change that to clip and see what that looks like. Okay, so now we've definitely got clips, but I want plastic. I don't want any of this metal stuff. So I'm going to put plastic in front here. Still has the image. But now it's defined by plastic clip and I'm still not exactly seeing and I don't know that I could get a whole lot closer in terms of search terms. So one of the challenges here is that taking a picture from a different angle can make all the difference. So in this example, I'm going to go back, I'm going to clear this out and we're going to take another picture and this time upload an image. I'm going to try this angle instead. Okay, so now you see that there are plastic parts here, but now it's changed the search term based on the results it found to portable. So we're going to change that back to plastic, clip, and voila. So now we've got images that look much more similar. So I'm going to click on this image, and it's going to take me to the page where all these images are, but it opens up the same thing that I clicked on. So as you can see, I'm a lot closer. Now I can search through any of these for other similar devices. And there you go. Instead of spending hours pouring through thousands of images, stores, or articles to find something that will help you, in 10 minutes or less, you can do this. But let's just take it one step further. Okay, so we're going back to Google, seeing the image here. Let's just say this works, but you see something else on this page that is inspiring, and now you want to check it out. 
So this one has a bump on it. Let's see what this one will do. Click on the image. I'm going to copy this image address and go back over here to Google. Only this time, instead of hitting upload an image, I'm going to stay on paste in URL. Search for images. Now, as you can see here, these don't look quite the same, but once again, it changed this to solid. So we're going to put plastic clip back in here. And there you go. Now you have all of these plastic clips that are somewhat similar to what you're looking at. And all of this can serve to inspire you and improve the innovation that you're already working on or help you find the parts that you're looking for or even materials in some cases based on the image that you either copy from a URL or that you upload using the camera. Now, obviously this won't work all the time, but when it does, oh, it's wonderful. But if you would like to be a professional inventor, you're going to have to do a lot of research and you'll just keep getting better and faster at it, especially when you play with awesome tools like this. If you found this helpful, please be sure to let me know by smashing those likes and subscribe buttons. It's a free way to support me and help me continue to do this. And hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video each and every week. If something really stood out to you today or you feel like there's something I left out, leave a note for me in the comments. I love hearing what's on your mind and I'm happy to answer any remaining questions you may still have. Or better yet, book a free strategy call with me using the link below to build your own invention licensing business. Happy inventing.